After being given the all clear two months ago, Adrian should have been getting ready to return back to work this week. But unfortunately, this isn't the case as he faces even more life-saving treatment. Although his bone marrow transplant was a success, Adrian has now developed a condition known as chronic graft versus host disease, which could potentially prove life-threatening if not treated immediately. Different parts of the body can be affected in different patients. So you can see graft versus host disease affecting the skin, affecting the eyes, the lungs, the liver, the joints, and sometimes the gut. His new bone marrow is making red and white blood cells which are there to fight off infection as it should be doing. But the problem has now come because his new white cells have started attacking his own body. Adrian has to travel to Rotherham General Hospital for two days every other week for up to three months. He is receiving treatment called extracorporeal photophoresis, a procedure which gives him a 50% chance of being cured long term. The complex of symptoms that can occur after someone had a bone marrow transplant where the donor is someone other than themselves, so that's an allogeneic bone marrow transplant. And in that setting, um, the transplanted patient has got somebody else's immune system. Now that's a good thing because that immune system can hunt around the body and look for any evidence of the uh, underlying disease for which you had the transplant, <clears throat> and that's called a graft versus disease effect. However, However well matched the, uh, the bone marrow cells are, um, either from a, a brother or sister or an unrelated donor, they won't be exactly the same. And sometimes that difference means that this circulating immune system can attack the patient into which they've been transplanted. <clears throat> and this form of attack is called graft versus host disease, and a chronic version of this usually occurs after about three months from the transplant. The procedure takes around three to four hours to complete. Blood is taken from Adrian's arm where it is then drawn into a spinning bowl. This essentially separates the red and white blood cells. Once the photophoresis machine has detected the last of the white cells in that cycle, they are diverted away and collected into a bag. The red cells are then returned to Adrian's body and the whole process is repeated. The vast majority of patients with chronic graft versus host disease in the UK are treated either here in Rotherham for the uh, sort of Midlands and North of England um, or at St Thomas's um, for the southern part of England. Uh, we've been um, using photophoresis both for graft versus host disease and a very rare uh, skin uh, cancer, skin lymphoma, since 1994 now. So we've had 13, 14 years of experience uh, with this treatment here, but increasingly at the present time, the majority of our patients uh, relate to chronic graft versus host disease. After about six cycles, the bag should be filled almost exclusively with white blood cells. The blood appears red because there are just a few red cells still remaining. A light sensitizing drug known as Uvidex is then injected into the white cells. They are run through a perspex sheet between two banks of UVA light, leading to the gradual death of those cells. Finally, the dying cells are returned to Adrian's body. The idea is that the damaged immune cells then interact with other immune cells that have not been taken out of his body, and in turn reducing the activity of the immune system and training it to be more tolerant of his body. Well, that was fine. Um, I feel you know, no side effects at all now. Ready to drive home and um, actually go over to the Hallamshire now for some more checkups and more tests. Um, but other than that, been taken really good care of. Plenty of tea and coffee from all the nurses and they've been you know, very helpful as ever.